How to add Google Maps to Joomla. There are several extensions that allow you to easily create Google Maps and display them in Joomla. One aptly named extension, Google Map, is fairly new but also pretty popular. It seems to have a variety of useful features that make it stand apart from the rest. As with all extensions we'll be showing you, start by going to extensions.joomla.org. Then, navigate to the Photos and Images, Maps category, and find the Google Map page. Once there, click Download. Click the link for the latest version. We recommend you download the component, Mod, Google, and both plugins. Once you've downloaded them all, install them just as you would any extension. For assistance with finding or installing extensions, watch the first two tutorials in this series. When complete, go to Components, then Google Map, and then Configuration. First, you must enter the URLs on which your site resides, separated by commas. If you leave out a domain name, the Google Maps will not function when viewed from that location. If you want the maps to function on all subdomains of your site, leave off www here. Type the URLs. Next, it's necessary to get authorization from Google for the domain names entered above. This is done by obtaining an API key from their website. Scroll down and look to the right. Click this link. You must be registered for and logged into a Google or Gmail account before proceeding. If you do not have an account, click this link to be given the opportunity to create one. Once you're logged in and have read over the contents of this page, scroll down. You must agree to the terms and conditions. Type the URL you entered a moment ago. Click Generate API Key. Your key has been created. Copy it to your clipboard. Return to Joomla. Paste the key here. If you have multiple domain names listed above, repeat the process with each of them. When finished, scroll up. Click Save. Now it's time to start setting up our first map, starting with the destinations. Click Manage Destinations. Let's edit the sample destination that was created automatically. Change the name. Type a description. Scroll down. You have the option of finding the coordinates of your destination using a map or by entering the address. Click Google by address. Type as much information as possible in these three fields. When finished, click Transfer Coordinates. Scroll up. Notice, the latitude and longitude fields have updated to show the new coordinates. Look right. Click Save. Let's add another destination. Scroll right. Click New. Proceed as before.
Choose the sample category. Set both of these to yes. Scroll down. Scroll up and save. Create one more destination on your own. Once complete, reorder the destinations however you want. Now let's edit the category. Click Manage Categories. Select the category. Rename it. Supply the coordinates that the map should focus upon by default. Use the data from one of your destinations if you want. Change the zoom level if you wish, using a value from 1 to 15. Scroll down. Type a description to put before the map. Scroll down. Type a description to be placed after the map, if you want. Make sure this category is published. Scroll up. Under the Extra Parameters tab here, there are many options you can customize. Read over the hover descriptions for information on each. We're going to leave them all as defaults. Click Save. Now, it's time to add a menu link for our map. Go to Menus. Choose a menu to contain the link. We'll use the main menu. Look to the right. Click New. Under Internal Link, Google Map, there are three options for linking to the Google Map component. With Simple, you can display only a single destination. Standard and Advanced both allow you to choose a category of destinations to display on the map. Advanced is nearly identical to Standard, but adds a list of all the destinations below the map. We'll use Advanced. Type a title. Scroll down and customize any of the display settings you want, then scroll right. The only option under Parameters, Basic, allows you to select a category. Open up the next tab. All of these options allow you to override the settings specified by the category. We'll leave these blank and use the category settings. Next tab. All of these options are also available on the categories page, this time under the extra parameters tab. Use global Telsys component to use the settings as they're defined here. Again, you can override each of these here. When finished, click Save. Finally, we can check out our map on the Joomla front end. Click Preview. Click the menu link we just made. Here it is. If all went well for you, yours should work too. If you get a Google Maps API key error message, you'll need to go back and check your configuration. Scroll down. Notice the list of destinations. As stated, these will only show up in the advanced mode. Now that you have a map, you might want to start using the module and plugins you installed earlier. You can find out more about these on the developer's website. This is the end of the tutorial. You should now know how to use the Google Map extension for Joomla.